going on YouTube? Got another update here for the Hot Tub Aquaponic Garden. It's Monday, so anybody out there that's celebrating, cheers! <laughs> anyway, uh, right now it is beautiful in here because I got an attic fan <laughs> and put it on the ground there and made a little makeshift uh, cage around it there and uh, set that thing up and man does that make a difference sucking in from the open door and I got my little uh, oscillating fan here as well and it is freaking awesome in here it is so nice um, I'm debating on whether to mount this fan anywhere or well where I'm going to mount it it's going to get mounted somewhere but uh, the only problem is this stupid shroud on it is uh, just thin sheet metal so even like where it's sitting right now, if I move that bl uh, block of wood and move it a little bit, it'll start hitting the sides and it sounds like hell. But uh, so I need to figure out a way to frame it out first. But anyway, everybody is looking huge here. Got some carrots way back there looking all nice. More shoots all popping up all over the place here. Got my mucho nacho He's all the way over here now. Uh, right behind him is the Cajun bell and rosemary, of course. Some lettuce up front and garlic over there. Look at this, man. I'm still surprised by this garlic. It's just something I had inside and just grabbed one and brought it out and it started growing. Got another little lettuce there. Freak hot pepper right on there. Not looking too bad. These peppers aren't looking bad. Um, this one's starting to get a little bit of crap that the other one was getting. Um, we do have uh, some more little pests in here, but at the same time, I'm finding more bugs, so some of them might be eating some of these uh, aphids and stuff like that. I'm trying that soap method, and it's not really working, but uh, maybe I'm just not using enough soap. Anyway, got some uh, kale back here, some more right there. Uh, I believe those are lettuce, maybe? <laughs> Uh, shard looking beautiful second year so this is uh, two years going man like frozen there in January or uh, February and here it is still buddy never made it but uh, oh well got some uh, wacky looking arugula here um, I don't know if that's from crowding or just crappy seeds or what but some of them are looking pretty goofy got some more kale right over here next to my huge radicchio here and uh, it's right next to, check this out, man. Strawberries everywhere, all over this little guy. If you look back there, got lots more strawberries. Lots of them back there and a couple leaves I need to remove. And check out this old arugula. Jeez, oh man. What the heck, this thing's gonna be like reaching for the ceiling here shortly. It's looking pretty nice. Haven't even uh, trimmed back any of it or eaten any of it yet. So that's gonna be fun. Still got that to come. Got some strawberries, or uh, some kind of strawberries. That would be spinach back there. And uh, right here, I believe that's another jalapeno. And right over here, these two jalapenos, they're not looking so bad. We got some crappy leaves. Oh, look at that. <laughs> this leaf doesn't even, it's not even there. Um, but we got some uh, discolored leaves back there. But as you can see, right in here, here, all the little notches, there's all kind of new growth popping up. And got another pepper looking crappy. You can see these stupid little bugs on it. And uh, got some more arugula. Some of them looking all goofy right up here. Free hot pepper starting to actually uh, look like it's doing some uh, growth there. So that's pretty cool. Same with this one. Not too bad. Slow, but we're getting there. These two guys, or this one guy, is also having a hard time going. But as you, like I said, there's uh, there you go. You can see some all over this stupid thing. So, I've been crushing them with my fingers is probably the best way I've been getting them so far. But, uh, and then other ones like this tomato doesn't seem to have one on it at all. And then these tomatoes seem to be okay, but the carrots will have one. Actually, a couple right there uh, on those carrots. Kale right here, all doing good. And the carrots all popping right up in the middle of them. I might be pulling a few of these. Got some more uh, right over here you can see. Stupid little bugs on there, so I'm gonna have to go again with my soapy mix right after I'm done with this. Um, yeah, that's right. These are <laughs> brain fart. Uh, these are my Swiss shard or my shard right over here, and I will, I believe, a couple more lettuce right there. And I went to the store. I can't help myself, man. These things are such a great deal. Got me a yellow cherry tomato, which is a hybrid. I really have no problem 
using a hybrid, but as long as I know it's a hybrid, that's all I mind. It's just that wacky genetically modified stuff. I don't, I don't know about that stuff, but uh, got another Cajun Bell, which I'm probably just gonna go ahead and throw this guy into my dirt garden. And look how mature it is. Like someone obviously cut it right here and it started uh, stemming up and stuff. That's why I got this guy. Um, right over there, we got a Mexabel. Uh, I guess it's like a, a spicy bell pepper. Couldn't help myself with that. There's two of them, and they're already looking uh, pretty good, and they're starting to branch a little bit too. Right up here, I've got my uh, Barker's Hot Chili Pepper, and there's two of them on here, and they're kind of looking pretty good. I might top them, and uh, this is probably going to be in this garden here. Um, yeah, I think the uh, extra Cajun bell that I have is going in uh, the dirt. And uh, the indeterminate uh, cherry tomato right here is going in the dirt. But uh, this one right here, Roma, <laughs> and uh, it's a determinant, so maybe it will be in this garden. I don't know. I love having tomatoes in here, but at the same time, the roots just go everywhere and clog up the whole beds. All right, well, if you saw, I guess it was my last video, uh, I was working on the strawberries. All of them. Done. Bam. How about that stuff? Every single one of these cups now has strawberries all through it. Through it. Some of them are flowering. Some, like there's some right there. I mean, all the way down to down there. If you look right there. There's one right there, and it's already got. Uh, I think that's berries popping off of it. And uh, of course, my two big ones. That guy right here, and this guy right here. Not looking too bad. So, I think I. Uh, I think I might have enough strawberries now. So this definitely puts the count in the greenhouse well over a hundred strawberry plants. Jeez. I wish I could uh, multiply peppers like I could multiply strawberries. Right over here, as you can see, I'm still dealing with some pests. And I don't know if this is uh, stunting my Malabar here, but there are pests all over it. There's one right there on it right now. Oops, I just knocked another one off of it too. So I'm trying to focus, especially on that little guy. Um, see if I can get that coming up but uh, I might go ahead and try to get a couple more of those seeds sprouted and get them in here this little uh, tomato kind of looking droopy and I'm thinking that's also due to the pests that one has some crappy leaves on it obviously due to the pests but this one looks great that's the uh, indigo rose I believe and then I got a little nub of garlic here sticking out not really doing anything and then all of my herbs over here and my habanero and um, Another one of those stupid little things right there. Die. But anyway, looking nice. Pineapple sage smells awesome. Peppermint smells awesome. The lemon balm smells awesome. And the purple sage woo, smells awesome. It looks like it has a crappy leaf right there. Hmm. Also, it kind of looks like it has aphids. Dang it. All right. Definitely got to do another mix. So, moving on. Right over here. I've got strawberries, even more, all over. Look at this, strawberries everywhere inside here, man. <laughs> I love this. It's my favorite time of the year, strawberries popping out, one trying to ripen down there, it looks like crap. Uh, a couple more leaves popping up everywhere. I've already went in here and took out a whole round of uh, old leaves, like that right down here, and um, you know, promoting more growth and giving it more uh, energy for the strawberries and everything and yeah, that's it man it's going great just strawberries everywhere just waiting on them to ripen a little bit and all right over here uh, you can see all my hungry fish down there hanging out i just fed them some uh, pellets it's about time to do some flakes but you can see like even if it's small growth i've got growth in every single one of these guys right here all the way over there, 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 there. Coming all the way back. But even there, that's probably the worst one right there. This guy had a little pest damage on him. Right here, looking good. This little guy right here, and up here. Look, well, this guy's starting to bury up. Got some uh, flowers on this guy. Lots of berries all over this guy. This one's popping. It's just got berries everywhere. Next guy down. Everybody's looking good. So, but we come full circle all the way back over here to my new Mucho Nacho. I love this thing, man. I wanted to get another one today, and that was the whole reason I went to the store and bought five extra plants today. 
And I went there just for a mucho nacho, and dang it, they were completely out of them. Well, I'm sorry, now they had two, and they both looked like crap. And one of them, if I planted it in the dirt, I probably could make that thing look pretty good by burying it up a little bit, because it was uh, real leggy. But I figured, what the heck, I'd just grab another Cajun bell. And that's what I did, but I'm gonna throw that in the dirt garden. Just because I want a little side-by-side uh, -side comparison. They're about the same size, so let's see what it does. And I'm going to throw that tomato in a dirt garden, too, just because that way it can go nuts and just grow wherever the heck it wants to go. So, but anyway, now let's look around. And right over here, I forgot about these guys. Just a couple that I got here. Just a little tomato. Uh, another tomato, I can't even remember. That's one of my, uh, was it cayenne peppers? Um, or chili peppers, something like that, that I uh, grew before and these are second generation same with this little guy and this is uh not an onion <laughs> i don't know it's a little uh looks like a pepper down there kind of looks like it might be a tomato on top i don't know but anyway that's it got to get these guys some water obviously because they are browning up so until next time later